adventure. Put as a noun, it is defined as an unusual and exciting, typically hazardous experience or activity. A word that I sculpt my life around. For years, I worked as a whitewater raft guide. This year, I've hooked up an outpost in Utah, which carries on the legend of the very first commercial raft trips. My journey took me from my parents' house in Laramie, Wyoming, to the sage-covered plains of southern Wyoming, over the Rocky Mountains into Colorado, through Steamboat, and finally into Utah. Well, I'm in Utah officially. I actually crossed the border back that direction. I don't know how many miles, but there wasn't really a nice convenient spot or at least a spot I wanted to get out and, you know, take some time, wander around, kind of think to myself a little bit. Um, that's why I chose right here. Uh, this is actually Musket Shot Springs. Kind of an interesting name, but a uh, name that goes back a while. At least that's what I was reading up there at the information kiosk. You know, you always like to get new information about where you're going especially if you're a raft guide so just a little reminder there or a little tip uh, if you're coming into raft guiding and you want to be a little bit better I mean of course there's the physical attributes of guiding but there's also the mental and the more like person to like the person interaction there you know especially uh, when you're doing these longer trips like I'm excited to get into this year the um, the info and your knowledge is just an awesome thing to know about. Uh, but Musket Shot Springs here was found back in like 1776, hope I got the date right, um, by some Spanish monks and like I think 10 soldiers. I have to go read the kiosk again, but I think that's right. Which is pretty cool because it is a very much along the lines of how the Grand Canyon was actually found. Uh, back when the Spanish conquistadors were moving north trying to find the famous El Dorado and the City of Gold. Um, well, back then they didn't really call it uh, the Grand Canyon. It was well back before the states was even formed. So just a little bit of information there. But I'm excited to be in Utah. Definitely a lot more green than I was used to, than I'm used to being here. I'm used to being here in like early spring or fall, really. Um, so not as much green or more green than I'm used to anyway. But uh, yep, definitely excited to be here. Uh, I just wanted to get out, stretch my legs being vernal about another hour or so so almost there so i'm in vernal at the guide camp as you can tell got my uh my housing setup uh I don't mind sleeping in that. I'm actually hopefully gonna be spending less time in that than I am on the river this year. Unlike last year, I was every single night in that guy. Hopefully it'll either be 50-50 or less than that because I will be on the river, which will be nice. Oh, excuse me. I just had a really good drink of mead there, the compliments of my sister and my brother-in-law, so thank you for that. Uh, feel good stuff. Anyway, um, at the guide camp, uh, kind of first night, here um, tomorrow I don't know what I'll be doing really uh, probably clean up around camp here kind of spring clean up there's a lot of stuff laying around here um, it's gotta be wary of spiders and all that sort of stuff there is a crew of the TLs or the trip leaders heading out tomorrow to do kind of their training on the Yampa excuse me that means hit me hard there Woo. but uh, other than that I'm here um, I'll give you a slight tour here, but uh, like I said, house, there's the kitchen-ish over there. So a cooler, I got some other stuff kind of in the back there. Uh, my neighbor over here, 
And that guy, and he's got another thing right back there, is Mike. I also got another neighbor across the way over there. And then there's some more guides kind of down there under the ladder. Follow the trail down and the grotto right down there a little bit. Kind of down there. Uh, but yeah, this is home. Getting chilly, but I'm here. Hey there, uh, slight update. I've actually moved houses. Uh, instead of living in my truck, which is still parked right out there. You can see it right out there anyway. I am now, excuse me, I'm now in the back of a van, or a bus actually, which is pretty nice. Got this nice big bed here. I can actually lay down all the way on it, which was one of my big concerns about moving into, you know, an RV or, you know, a vehicle like that. That's why I don't actually sleep in the back of my truck because I can't lay fully extended in back of it. Uh, but I can actually almost stand up all the way in here too, which is pretty nice. So that, this is just awesome. I couldn't ask for anything better than this. It's small, it's tiny. Um, like I'm here, the door's probably six feet away from me, but it's awesome. Uh, and this is home for the summer, which is pretty, pretty rad. I got power over here, right there. Got some solar panels outside. It's a mess right now. There's a few upgrades I want to do to it, like some more shelves over here. I'll get rid of that guy, put some like small shelves in there. But uh, it's awesome anyway. Uh, that being said, I'm here for the summer. Oars is one of the best known rafting companies in the States. With outposts from California into Utah and even Fiji. What's special about Oars Dino is that its roots began with Buzz and Alton Hatch. The brothers who pioneered the career myself and many others follow today. They are the founding fathers of commercial rafting. I set out on the river with a crew of guides who came from different backgrounds, teachers, students, cooks, world travelers, and welders. All of us connected by the river. This trip was to show us the Yampa before we had a row of the 18 foot boats weighted down with gifts and gear. water level floating in slowly like this floating slowly like this and then pulling your guts out and then getting in here and then chopping up today tomorrow you're not going to be able to do that does that make sense every eddy's different reading water is, is a skill set the more we do this the more you learn what eddies you're going to want to do this to what eddies you're going to want to be like hey Right now, I know I just got to cheat in here for whatever reason, and I can. But for the sake of this drill and this time, I want to see you guys practice that downstream momentum, downstream ferry angle, crashing through and snapping up into the end. So good.
practiced and drilled, listened to our trip leaders give their safety talks, cooked and cleaned, and slowly built bonds. A family of strangers whose home is the river, and we wouldn't have it any other way. This is just the start of this adventure, and who knows, if you decide to come rafting on the Yampo or the Green River, myself or my brothers and sisters may be on the river with you. Got an old blue shirt and suits me just fine. I like the way it feels, so I wear it all the time. I got an old guitar, it won't ever stay in tune. I like the way it sounds in a dark and empty room. I got an old pair of boots, and they fit just right. I can work all day, I can dance all night. I got an old used car and it runs just like a top. I get the feeling it ain't ever gonna stop. Stuff that works, stuff that holds up, the kind of stuff you don't hang on the wall. Stuff that's real, stuff you feel. Kind of stuff you reach for when you fall. I got a pretty good friend who's seen me at my worst. He can't tell if I'm a blessing or a curse. But he always shows up when the chips are down That's the kind of stuff I like to keep around Stuff that works Stuff that holds up the kind of stuff you don't hang on the wall Stuff that's real Stuff you feel stuff you reach for when you fall Got a woman I love, she's crazy and paints like God. She's got a playground sense of justice, she won't take us. I got a tattoo with her name right through my soul. I think that everything she touches turns to gold. Stuff that works, stuff that holds up. Stuff you don't hang on the wall Stuff that's real Stuff you feel It's the kind of stuff you reach for when you fall Stuff that works Stuff that holds up the kind of stuff you don't hang on the wall Stuff that's real Stuff you feel, the kind of stuff you 